The final retail version of the Oculus Rift is still a ways off, but developer models start shipping later this week. Oculus VR brought the final version of the Rift dev kit to GDC, and before jumping into the few game demos they brought, we sat down with Rift visionary Palmer Lucky and he explained why he believes their headset will succeed where other attempts at VR gaming have failed in the past. VR has always been a challenge for a lot of people in the past. It's always kind of been, you know, approaching the sort of things that people hope that it, that it will get to, but uh, it just hasn't for a lot of reasons. How challenging has it been to market the Oculus to different people and get them convinced that, no, this might be the next step? You know, I think that there's two parts to that. The first is that um, technology has advanced so far. We have mobile screens with very high pixel density. We have these high performance motion tracker chips that are going into game consoles, going into phones, going into all kinds of different devices. Um, so a lot of the experiences people have had in the past were due to bad hardware, hardware that wasn't ready. Uh, we think that the hardware is just now getting to the point where we can de deliver a compelling experience. As far as selling people, like convincing them that this is real, I th think that it hasn't been us so much as all of the people who have tried the Rift and gone out there, like Gabe Newell saying that it's a you know great thing, or um, John Carmack saying that he really enjoys developing with it. Those are people that uh, have a lot of respect in the gaming community, right. and if they say something is good, then usually people believe them. I think that's been really key to people getting yeah. convinced that what we have is good. I know last time I talked to you, you had a screen that had, and I'm sure it's the same screen, uh, with varying density in terms of resolution. Yes. Why is that important? Uh, so, so one of the things that our optics do is, um, I, I call it variable acuity resolution. Basically, you've got lenses that distort the image so that straight lines are not straight anymore. They're actually bowed inward. So you have more pixels in the center of, the, of your display than you do at the edges. Uh, what we do is in software, when we render, we render all of the software to counteract that. We render it bowed out. So it looks like this on a normal screen. When you look at it through the lens, then it actually looks straight, like all the lines are straight. But you get more pixels in the center. That's important because it's a pretty low resolution device currently, especially this developer kit. Um, but it helps make it more like real life, where you've got much higher central resolution than peripheral resolution. Even simple actions in virtual reality, such as looking around the interior of a car or the mech cockpit in Hawken, illustrate the Rift's potential for immersion. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, holy sh**, and I just looked up, like... <laughs> Performing superhuman feats is a bit disorienting as the Rift fools your physiological checks and balances. For the uninitiated, defying gravity or momentum may elicit motion sickness-like symptoms. But apparently, Mr. Lucky is to the point where he can use the Rift for six to eight hours at a time. Perhaps having to acclimate yourself to the effects of VR is a necessary evil but it's hard to discount the unbelievable feeling of being present within a game. Performing physical actions, such as peering over your shoulder while backing up a car, is a revelatory experience to say the least. For a medium as stagnant as video games in terms of interactivity, the introduction of something like the Rift is an exciting prospect for the industry. We're finally at the point where VR can be taken seriously, and if investors and developers agree, there's bound to be a killer Rift app on the horizon, and following it, an entirely new category of gaming. Stay tuned to GameSpot for more coverage of the Oculus Rift and GDC 2013.